just to find Lieutenant Colonel Brandon Grace. He was part of the insertion team. He's believed to be carrying the package. It's imperative you find him. No sign of him so far. If he's in here, he's turned off his transponder. That's standard operating procedure. I guess you'll have to find him the old-fashioned way. Could take a while. You don't have a while. Command's hot for that package. And I got uh, someone here that says she's got a meeting with you. I'm gonna bring her on down. Mr. Grace, I'm Jennifer Rigney. We talked on the phone the other day about a bid to redo warehouse space in the stand in two artist lofts. Right. I know we're not supposed to get together until next week, but I was meeting with some friends near your office, so I thought I'd just come on up. I hope you don't mind. No, no, of course not. Uh, come on in. Miss Rigney, do you mind if I have a word with my associate first? Oh, no, not at all. I'll, I'll find the ladies' room. Down the hall to the right. Okay, thanks. Hello, Earth to Brandon. I want to tell you, the boss called a staff meeting for this afternoon. I tried to buzz you, but you were in the can or something. Listen, I know he's pushing you real hard on those sales. I mean, we're all feeling the pressure. But if you need any help... I don't need any help. Fine. I'll see the staff meeting. All right. Subject is located. I mean. There is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, we will control all that you see and hear. to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. It is said that conduct on the battlefield is the ultimate measure of a man. But often the enemy we are most afraid to face is much closer to home. I'll make this brief because I know we all have a lot to do today. It was last month when we came up with this coordinated attack plan to increase our sales. Penny and I have been tracking the figures. 
So far, people, I gotta tell you, it's not looking too good. We still have bids out on several projects where there's government contracts at stake, but we have lost the last six contracts we bid on. Can't afford to lose deals like that. Meeting our objectives for this quarter is life and death for this firm. If we don't make it, some or all of us are gonna be out of a job, and that's just the way it is. So, let's suck it up, pull this together like a team, and get it done, all right? That's all. Brandon, you got a minute? thing so I know you can find the mindset it's just we need a little of that killer instinct that I know you have it's like that Mahaffey project I mean there's no way the Kendall brothers can compete with us but you got to get in there and close that deal nobody wants to see you succeed more than I do just gotta pick up the pace with you. You're starting to act really weird back at the office. You know, Ed's starting to think there might be really something wrong with you. I think there is something wrong with me. Nah, you're just a little stressed out. I know he's leaning pretty hard on you about the sales. But look, I got you this job, and I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think you could handle it. You've been in tougher situations than this. You came through all right. So let's not pull that crazy bet thing right now, you know? Is that what you think this is? No, I didn't mean that. I just... I mean, Ed hasn't been through the stuff we've been through. Nobody has. But you're acting really weird. It's like I don't even know you anymore. I remember when we used to do everything together. Hammer and Blade, the two baddest ass-kickers in Aries group, sir! Whoa. Give me the letter back, man. You writing Cammy now? Why? You haven't talked to your daughter in years. Let me have it. Just split up with Karen. Give me the damn letter. Yeah, take your damn letter, then. You can talk to me about things, you know? We're supposed to be friends. Mr. Grace? Brandon? Hi, it's me, Jennifer, from this morning, Artist Lofts, no appointment. Oh, yeah. Hello. Again. You must think I'm following you. Actually, I'm waiting for a friend. Mind if I sit down? Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about dropping in unannounced this morning. Oh, that's OK. It looked like those guys were giving you a hard time about something. No, not really. It's, it's just business, nothing important. You don't look like the sales type. How long were you in the service? I saw your ring. Oh, so yes, right? My brother has one. He was a pilot. I, uh, I didn't stop worrying about him the whole time he was in combat. It was hell. So what did you do, if you don't mind me asking? I was, um, I was in a special unit. We, um, uh, we went on assignments. Really? 
like secret missions. Yeah, yeah, like something like that. Sounds exciting. I got wounded. <clears throat> oh, I I'm sorry. On a mission? You know, it's not something I really like to think about. Besides, I, uh, I don't remember it all that well anyway. Hey, look, I understand. They say that sometimes people's subconscious takes over and blocks out bad memories. It's what happened to my brother anyway. He had a bad combat experience and uh, he didn't remember the details. The doctors say it's a defense mechanism. So maybe you're just forgetting things that are too painful. They told him the best thing he could do was to try to remember. You know, face his demons. Do you remember what happened to you? All of a sudden, you want to see your daughter. Why now, after all this time? I don't know. I. You ran out of her life and mine. You disappeared for how long? For years? Not a word, not a phone call, not even a letter. To say that you're sorry or that you care what you put us through. I'm sorry. And I care. That's why I'm here. Well, it's not enough. Do you think that we're just waiting around here in our lives for that moment that it might finally suit you to show up? Goodbye, Brandon. Karen, Karen, you don't understand. Karen, you don't understand. I need to see her before it's too late. Too late for what? I just... I, I may have to go away. My job. I'm sorry about that, but I've got a job, too. And as a matter of fact, I've got to get going or I'll be late. My car is in the shop and I've got to take the bus. My life isn't exactly a romance novel, either. Are you taking care of yourself? God, you look like hell. Aren't you covered by the VA or something? I'm fine. I just need look, to I'm see Look, I'm really Cameron. sorry. I'm sorry if your life isn't working out for you. But talking to Cammy isn't going to fix your problems. There aren't any magical solutions. I know. Karen. Karen, I'm begging you. I'll do anything you want. Can you just please talk to her? She always listened to you. This is hard. Because no matter how much of a jerk you were and are, I don't want to see you suffer. And I'd like to believe that the sudden desire to act like Cammy's father is sincere. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Why not? Cammy and I talked about this when your letters came, and the truth is she doesn't want to see you. Karen. Now or ever. I'm sorry.
Somebody call a doctor! For God's sake, call 911! Act? I know it was a deliberate act. How do you know that, Mr. Grace? Do you know who did this? Can you describe the individual? He was military. Ares Group. Ares Group? Tactical assault squad, my squad. You're in the military, in a tactical assault squad. Was. If you didn't recognize this person, how do you know he was in this squad? The uniform. He was dressed for a combat mission. Where exactly is this tactical assault squad that you're part of based? There is no permanent base. We we were brought in from our postings when there was a mission. We didn't even know where we were going half the time until they had us inside and they briefed us. Well. I guess I'll just have to make some calls and check this out. Brandon, what are you saying? This wasn't an accident? I see where you're going with this, a guilt trip. You think because you broke up with her and everybody said that was a jerk move that somehow you think it's your fault, like you're responsible. I am responsible. That's a crock. She was hit by a car, for God's sake. Listen. I see you sliding towards the edge, and I'm not going to stand by and watch you go. This may sound harsh, but the truth often is, you never really loved Karen. You better back off, Mike. Face it, Brandon. You were better off without her before, and I'm sorry she's dead, but you're better off without her now. Oh. You want to fight me, huh? You want to fight? Hey, I pulled your ass out of that firefight during the Belfast operation, in case you forgot. I'm trying to help you out here. If I want your help, I'll ask for it. What's going on? Brandon, are you all right? He's fine. He's uh, just had a bad day. He's uh, blown off a little steam. Why don't you get out of my office, Mike? Yeah. Make me the bad guy. Everything I say is true. And someday you're going to thank me for it. I was just going to apologize for upsetting you before. I was going to suggest we go and take a look at the warehouses. Great timing, huh? I'm so sorry to hear about what happened to your ex-wife. And that guy, Mike, he wasn't exactly helping. Well, he got me the job, and I guess he uh, thinks I'm blowing it. He's probably right. Do you like it? Being in sales? I mean, it's pretty tame compared to what you used to do. Serving your country, being part of a team. Yeah. Yeah, my team. You weren't close to your squad? Is that part of what went wrong when you got shot? Why do you keep asking me this? Didn't I tell you before I'm not interested in any of this? Well, what are you interested in, Brandon? I'm interested in Cammy. care about my daughter. She was just a kid when I left to join up. I, I was too young to be a father, to have a family. So I left. You did something important. You were a hero. I was a coward. I left my daughter to think that she was the blame for my leaving. And it was just me being selfish. And now all I want to do is... I just want to see her. I just want to... I've been, uh... I've been thinking about what you said the other day about confronting things. That's great. Yeah. I'm going to go see Cammy. Maybe, maybe she'll throw me out. Maybe she'll call me every name in the book. Whatever she does, I deserve it, but... 
I'm gonna face her. See my daughter. Daughter? Yeah, my daughter. She lives here with me. I have no record of a daughter living here. Well, she lives here. Take my word for it. Why didn't you mention a daughter when you gave me your statement yesterday? You didn't ask, and I was in a state of shock. And why are you asking me all these questions? And what the hell are you doing here anyway? I'm conducting an investigation into your ex-wife's death. Frankly, a lot of what you told me doesn't add up. What are you talking about? You said the car swerved off the road when it deliberately hit your ex-wife. Yet there are no skid marks leading up to the spot. You also said you recognized the driver as being a member of the a military unit called Ares Group. Well, there's no record of any such group with any branch of the armed forces. Top secret organization. It's highly classified information. And you claimed that this supposed hit and run was a deliberate act. But if you really showed up at the spur of the moment like you said you did, you'd have no way of knowing that. Then there's the fact that you and your ex-wife had been estranged. Wait, 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 just one second here. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? <laughs> Your problem is, but you are coming downtown to answer some more questions. <clears throat> They just didn't believe me. Well, who did it, Brandon? You can tell me. Now, why would I want to do that? How did you even know I was here? If I followed you to Karen's place, I was worried about you. Who the hell are you, lady? What do you want from me? I want to help you. But you deserve to know the truth. Look, it's not just a coincidence that I keep seeing you. I'm a psychotherapist, and I do consulting work for the VA hospital. The hospital? I've been out of there since... I can't remember when. Look, I'm sorry for misleading you. But the VA people said that you hadn't been keeping up with your outpatient therapy and that you wouldn't accept any help if it were to offer to you directly. So they talked to the people you work with and... People at work knew about this? Brandon, they were concerned for you. I wish now that I had been up front with you. And I hope that you can forgive me because if you let me, I can help you deal with the things that have happened to you. OK, OK. I have this constant pain in my chest, and I can't seem to catch my breath. And nothing makes sense. And this commando from this old unit is stalking me. And he's destroying things. And every time I turn around, he's gone. And all the stuff he destroys is back to normal like it never happened again except Karen is really dead. And nothing makes any sense anymore, and I feel like I'm falling apart at the seams. Now you tell me. Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind? No, Brandon. I don't think you're crazy at all. You're just suffering from post-traumatic stress like a lot of other people that have been through what you have. Like my brother. 
Now look, that part was real, okay? His name is Major Kevin Rigney. You can look it up. Kevin was like you. He was holding some terrible things inside of him, and, and, and he couldn't deal with it. But he finally faced those memories that were buried in his mind, and, and it worked. He got better, and so can you. Is this commando that keeps following you, is he, is he the one that shot you? I don't know. Because if he is, that means someone in your own squad betrayed you. And if someone did that to you, someone close to you, then that means they have every single reason to make sure you never remember what they did or that you never have the chance to talk about the things that you do remember. Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Well, you have to, Brandon. Don't you see what it means? If you leave your name, number, and the time you called, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Cammy. Cammy, if you're there, could you, could you please pick up? I really need to talk to you. I, uh, I know things haven't been really right between us, and I know this, this is a hard time for you, but uh, I'd really like to see you, Cammy. Cammy, please answer me. Let's do that, Ed. You too, Mike. Look, Brandon, uh, Mike's told me that you're under a lot of strain. Maybe you should take a little time away, get things in a better perspective. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should talk to my shrink, huh? If you think you need professional help, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. You got somebody in mind, or, uh... You just want to send me a pretend client so she could mess with my head. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, don't act like you don't know. Huh? Jennifer? The therapist from the VA office that you sent to spy on me? Jennifer, you, you mean the girl with the artist lost? The artist lost my ass! What'd you guys think I was going postal so you sent the shrink to evaluate me without my even knowing about it? No one hired any shrink. Oh, don't lie to me, Ed. She already admitted it. Gave you another chance, you wouldn't take it. You're a loser. You couldn't make it in the service, you can't make it here. Get out. You're fired. Get out! disintegrating. You have to adjust the laws. Something's gone wrong. He's seen the wires. We need to dump them quickly. We've got a problem. I'm coming up now. Brainwave activity is weakening and destabilizing. The procedure is a drain on what is already a drastically reduced capability. Frankly, I'm amazed he's still got any function left at all. Major, what's happening in there? Any proof who attacked Grace and took the package? I'm so close, but he keeps resisting. 
Something's blocking him. What? He keeps wanting to go back to his daughter. It's like he's got some kind of guilt complex from running out on his family. She was very little. Damn it, Major. We got millions tied up in this contraption. And all I'm hearing is a lot of psychobabble. I never said it's an exact science. This man is clinging to his life, and the fantasy world that he's projecting is all that he has. This job, this commander that's chasing him, his dead wife, he's creating all of it as a way of dealing with his past. Now, I can go in there and try to work with the images that his memory's providing, but it's still his dream. I can't make him go somewhere that he doesn't want to or can't go. Here's his team. They're all in his dream. Look, we've got four survivors from the insertion team other than Grace. One of them has to be the traitor. Well, how long do we have with Grace? Best guess, we've got about two hours before he expires. Then let's get back in there before we lose the last chance we've got. General, with all due respect, the subject is going to die either way. If we lose him and Major Rigney is in there, wherever there is, there could be a final electromagnetic discharge from Lieutenant Colonel Grace's brain. If it's strong enough, since she's linked through the machine to his neural patterns, that discharge could cause a fatal pulse to her brain function. Do I need to remind either of you why we're doing this? If we lose him before we find out who sabotaged this mission, a vial of the most deadly chemical warfare toxin known to man is going to be floating around out there, waiting for the highest bidder. Someone from Grace's team attacked him. I need to know who. Jennifer, are you up to it? Ready when you are. so interested in me. Huh? You're military, aren't you? Yeah. But I do want to help you. You just... You have to trust me. That's what this is all about, isn't it? To get me to talk about the things that happened on the damn mission. That's all you ever talk to me about. You say you want to help, but that's all you care about. No, that's not all I care about, Brandon. I can help you all this pain and suffering. It can go away. about the mental anguish. Whatever it is you're protecting yourself from can't be any worse than the hell you're going through now. I can see it in your eyes. I can feel it. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. What exactly is it that you do? I wish I could tell you, but I can't. Well, I wish I could help you. But you see, I don't have very much time left. And I can't afford to spend it on things that I don't care about. I just want to see my daughter.
right, so I guess that would make you the one who used to yell and break things and scare my mother and me to death. I'm so sorry. I, I never meant to do any of that. <laughs> I, was, I was just young. I guess you were the one who used to send postcards on all my birthdays and never showed up even once. I wanted to. But so you couldn't use a telephone? Or send a fax? Or an email? Or anything to let me know that you gave a damn whether I was hurt, or happy, or fighting with my mother? You're right. I made mistakes. I made, I made a thousand of them. But in my heart... I... In your heart, you were a soldier. No attachments, no weaknesses. You may have loved your country, and you may have loved your freedom, but you never loved me. That's not true. Because if you did, you would have been there for me. At least once. Kimmy, I know I let you down. And if I could change it all, I would. But no matter how angry you are at me, and I don't blame you. I'm still your father. Nothing will ever change that. I have no father. himself. Forget it, doctor. Just let him go. He suffered enough. No. No, not like this. I'm pulling the plug. What about finding the toxin? Just, you're gonna have to watch the other team members like a hawk and hope to God whoever did it slips up. He knows who did it. He knew all along. But facing it means facing his death and he can't bring himself to do it. Look, I know what we have to do now. Just pull Lieutenant Colonel Grace's personnel file, okay? Just do it! I'm not going to let him die like this. Please just let me die. You don't have to die, Brad. I don't want to. Don't say that. Why? Because you didn't get what you needed. Do you think that's the only reason why I'm here? It's time for me to stop dreaming. Tell me yourself. No. You've been doing whatever it takes to keep yourself alive and for a good reason. Your daughter, Brandon. She hates me. Okay, listen to me, Brandon. That wasn't your daughter you saw. That was your mental image of her, just like this whole world you created. And it wasn't her accusing you of being a bad father, it was you. What's happening? Major, what's happening? Listen to me. He's giving up. He's letting go. And without him, we have nothing. Get her out of there right now. I can't. Sounds like interfering. She's electromagnetic field. Emma, where are you?
sorry, baby. I love you. I always did. I didn't know. I love you too. can be won or lost, but in the battle waged inside a man's soul, only love can heal the wounds.